Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to use the definition of now sequence to show that an equal to minus 1 power n minus 1 divided by n power 4 plus 2 is now. To do this, we must know what is the definition of now sequence. What is this thing? Uh, I'm going to follow David Brennan definition on page 43 of the text. It says that a sequence a n is now sequence. What will happen if for every positive epsilon greater than zero, there is a number x such that absolute value of a n will be less than epsilon as long as n more than x. Our aim here is find out what is this x here. For every epsilon greater than zero, absolute value of an will be less than epsilon, as long as n greater than x. So first, we go and find out what is absolute value of an. In this case, an is minus one power n minus one over n power four plus two. Therefore, absolute value of an. In this case, we know the numerator is always equal to one or minus one, so absolute value of 1 or minus 1 is always 1, and the denominator is n power 4 plus 2 as they are always positive, and it is always positive. So, according to the definition of now sequence, we need absolute value of an less than epsilon. So, if epsilon greater than 0, absolute value of an less than epsilon if and only if let me use a different color. 1 over n power 4 plus 2 less than epsilon. Okay, so I try to use a different color, blue color one. So if epsilon greater than 0, absolute value of an less than epsilon if and only if, because this is the same thing as 1 over n power 4 plus 2 less than epsilon. Now, in this case, I try to make n the subject now. So what I do is, okay, I can use a reciprocal rule as both terms are positive as 1 over x power 4 plus 2 and epsilon are positive. So we can use a reciprocal rule as 1 over n power 4 plus 2 greater than 0, we know that this is true, and epsilon greater than 0. Therefore, if you turn upside down, this n power 4 plus 2 will be greater than 1 over epsilon now, by the reciprocal rule. Reciprocal rule of real number, which says that if a less than b greater than greater than 0 and less than b, then 1 over a greater than 1 over b. Alright, this is. Therefore, now, I want to make n the subject. So this n power 4 will be greater than 1 over epsilon minus 2. So I want to make n the subject, so I can say, all right, let's take the fourth root both sides now. If, if as long as both numbers are positive, n must be greater than the fourth root of 1 over epsilon minus 2. So you may want to look at definition again. So uh, sequence is now, if absolute value of an is less than epsilon, as long as n greater than x, and this x usually depends on epsilon, all right? x usually depends on epsilon. As we have seen here. So why is my x now? So based on that information, I could take x to be here. So I could take, say, x. So take x equal to fourth root of 1 over epsilon minus 2. However, there is a problem here. 
The problem is you are not able to take the fourth root if 1 over epsilon minus 2 is negative. What if 1 over epsilon minus 2 less than 0? Then we cannot take the fourth root. Therefore, we need to modify our proof now. So, in order for this to work, you have to make sure that 1 over epsilon minus 2 is positive. Then you can take the fourth root. So, modification first, note that we need 1 over epsilon minus 2 greater than 0. Otherwise, you cannot take the fourth root. So that means that 1 over epsilon is greater than 2. Since epsilon is assumed to be positive, given by epsilon positive, so that means, so you can take reciprocal rule now, so epsilon will be less than 1 over 2. Now we have to modify the proof now. The proof is, you go back, our, our condition is epsilon must be greater than 0. Epsilon less than half. So therefore, you go back to change the proof now. So if epsilon greater than zero and less than half. So now I'm going to change this. If epsilon greater than zero and less than half. Then I can take x equal to this. Right? I can take x equal to four root of one of epsilon minus two as long as if epsilon greater than half. Alright, so I can modify this thing now if epsilon greater than half. Now, but that doesn't mean that the sequence is now because from the definition of now sequence, it has to work for each positive epsilon greater than zero. What I did was Epsilon greater than zero is true, but less than half. What if epsilon is more than half now? How do you find the x? Right, you need to find the x here, depending on epsilon. So now, let's consider again. Now, if epsilon is more than half, then what is absolute value a n? Absolute value a n is 1 over n power 4 plus 2. And because n power 4 is greater than 0, we know this number is definitely less than half. Therefore, it's less than epsilon for all n. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we may want to take x. So, if you take x equal to 0, then we know that a n equal to 1 over n power 4 plus 2, well, less than half, less than epsilon, if epsilon is more than half, as long as for x for n greater than, n can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 now, so for n greater than 0, will do. So, this is my x now. Alright? So, the proof consists of two parts. First part is if epsilon greater than half, then absolute value a n will be less than epsilon if n greater than zero. Alright? Zero is my x now. This is the x I'm looking for. Alright? And what happens if epsilon less than half? Then I will take x to be this thing. So if epsilon less than half greater than zero less than half, then absolute value of a n will be less than epsilon if n is greater than fourth root of 1 over epsilon minus 2. And this is the x for another case of epsilon. So we'll combine together, we conclude.
conclusion a n equal to minus 1 power n minus 1 over n power 4 plus 2 is now by definition this will end the recording for this solution